Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Gilbert and I'm with Interactive Utopia. And today I want to talk to you about how to use your Android TV as an emulator for your React Native app. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, uh, the most important thing that you need to understand is that both your computer that you're developing on and the TV that you want to use as an emulator, they have to be under the same network. Okay, once they're both, both connected on the same network, you're going to go to the TV, go to your network settings, select the network that you're currently using, and get the IP address for your device. Okay, write that IP address down because we're going to use it to connect it, uh, you know, on, on your development computer. All right, so once you have that information, let's go to React, uh, I'm sorry, to um, Visual Studio Code. And let's see how everything works out. Okay, so the first and you know thing that I want to do is I want to check it to see if I have any devices connected. So we want to run the command adv devices. Uh, that way, it will let us know if we have anything connected at this time. So as you can see, there are no devices. If there were any, it would be on, on underneath the list of the devices attached. Okay, so how do we connect our TV to be used as an emulator? Um, you're going to want to use the command adb connect followed by the IP address on your that, 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 that your TV has, um, which, you know, I already had gotten for, for mine. So if we run that command, you should get a connected to um, message. So it's connected to and then your IP address, all right? Uh, usually they're gonna be listening on port 5555. Uh, to make sure that you are connected, you wanna run your devices um, command again, just to make sure. And you can see the television, it's connected. So we wanna test out our applications on the on television. You know, we run the, the command run Android from uh, React Native. And that should open up our terminal and install the application on the television. All right, let's just give that a minute. Uh, you know, you again, you, you don't necessarily have to have the TV on the same room as you're developing on. Uh, it's easier to do but uh, you know it could be any TV as long as it's on your network and as you can see it uploaded it it installed it and it's running perfectly on the television now here we go all right so that's pretty much about it um, if you want to disconnect the TV uh, so that you're not using it as an emulator all the time or let's say that you just want to you know, do some final tests on the TV, but you don't want to be using that, you know, every single time you're testing, because uh, you, you can always use the, the computer emulator, you're going to have to run the command to disconnect. That's going to be ADB followed by a dash S, your IP address, and then disconnect. All right, so let's run that command and see what that does. It's going to kill my my um you know the app that it's emulating right now so we run it disconnected everything let's check to make sure that we don't have any devices connected and there you go everything's been disconnected again so that's how you connect your tv to be used as an emulator and again you can disconnect it as well all right um so yeah, it's a pretty simple procedure. Uh, you know, anybody can do it. Uh, you know, just make sure that when you're running any of those commands that you're running them from your from the folder that you have your application in and you shouldn't have any issues. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me or, you know, shoot me any comments down below. And if you like my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.